John and Elizabeth Proctor owned a farm and tavern on Ipswich Road. Both were skeptics of the witch hysteria that had taken hold of Salem in 1692. John was very outspoken about the trials and the afflicted, who had already sent five people to jail. One day while coming into town to fetch his maid Mary, he spoke to Samuel Sibley. They talked about the afflicted girls and how things were going in town. He told Sibley. If they were let alone we should all be devils and witches quickly. On March 6, and Putnam Jr. said she was being tormented by the specter of Elizabeth Proctor. More afflicted girls and a boy named John Indian would also join in on the accusations against Elizabeth. On April 4, Captain Jonathan Walcott and Lieutenant Nathaniel Ingersoll appeared before the magistrates. They filed complaints against Sarah Cloyes and Elizabeth Proctor for afflicting Abigail Williams, John Indian, Mary Walcott, and Putnam, and Mercy Lewis. On April 8, the magistrates issued an arrest warrant for Elizabeth Proctor and Sarah Cloyes. On April 11, Elizabeth was brought in for examination before the magistrate Thomas Danforth, who was the deputy governor. Her husband, John Proctor, was also present for her examination. The magistrate started by asking John Indian who hurt him. The boy said. Goody Proctor choked me and brought the devil's book. Goody Proctor and Goody Cloys tormented me a good many times, mostly during the day. Do you know Goody Cloys and Goody Proctor? He said yes and pointed to Goody Cloys. When did I hurt thee? A great many times. Oh, you are a grievous liar. Mary Walcott, who hurt you? Goody Closey hurt me and brought the devil's book. Abigail Williams, did you see a company at Mr. Paris's house eating and drinking? Yes sir, that was their sacrament. There were about forty of them and Goody Cloys and Goody Good were the deacons. Several of the afflicted fell into fits and one cried out. Oh, her spirit is gone to prison to her sister Goody Nurse. Elizabeth Proctor, you understand that you are charged of being guilty of sundry acts of witchcraft. What say you to it? You must speak the truth, as you will answer it before God another day. I take God in heaven to be my witness, that I know nothing of it, no more than the child unborn. Mary Walcott, doth this woman hurt you? I never saw her so as to be hurt by her. Goody Proctor brought the book to me and told me that her maid had signed it. Dear child, it is not so. There is another judgment, dear child. Mary and Anne fell into fits and cried out. Look, there is Goody Proctor upon a beam. And then cried out that Goodman Proctor was a wizard. And Putnam, who hurt you? Goodman Proctor and his wife hurt me. Then some of the afflicted cried out. There is Goodman Proctor going to take up Mrs. Pope's feet. And her feet were immediately taken up. John Proctor, what do you say to this? I know not, I am innocent. Mary Walcott cried out. There is Goodman Proctor going to hurt Goody Bibber. And immediately Goody Bibber fell into a fit. The magistrate ordered John Proctor to be arrested. All three of the accused were taken to Boston Jail. July 23, 1692, John Proctor sent a petition from prison to the magistrates. The innocency of our case with the hostility of our accusers and our judges and jury whom nothing but our innocent blood will serve their turn, have condemned us already before our trials, being so much enraged against us by the devil. We are left to beg and implore your assistance with this petition, that if it be possible, our innocent blood may be spared, which undoubtedly otherwise will be shed if the Lord doth not mercifully step in. Elizabeth Proctor was held in jail until she was pardoned in 1693 by Governor Phipps. John Proctor was indicted on June 30, 1692, on the charge of witchcraft. He was hanged at Proctor's Ledge on August 19, 1692. This video was produced by 1692 Before and After.
in memory of those falsely accused and persecuted during the Salem witch trials. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. For more information about the Salem witch trials visit, 1692 before and after.com.